Hello. Hi. How are you all? Um, I'm here again in the middle of the night, wide awake. It's almost 3 a.m. So what I'm going to do since I'm awake anyway is I'm going to do something. I'm going to build something. Now, um, first of all, let me show you this. This is a needle book. A needle book, needle books were very common many years ago when, especially when ladies used to quilt and go to quilting bees and stuff. They always had a little fabric book that they kept their needles in. And that, as you can see, well, as you can see here, I've got needles stuck in the pages of these books and threads they're kind of messy but um but you can see at least they're all in the same place now myra wolf sent this to me she made it and um all so beautiful she made this and she sent it to me with all this beauty in it and so once she sent that to me, she said I could finish it myself. With I think she finished it just fine. But um, it's getting kind of tattered now because I use it all the time. But now I know exactly where my needles are. Used to be, I'd have to go running and looking for um, a needle, you know, because I'd have some of them in a pincushion here, some in a pincushion there, somewhere over there by my sewing machine, some were stuck in a curtain. You know, I just had them everywhere. Needles were just everywhere. And I'd have to go look for them. And so she sent me this. And so then I said, I'm going to use that. And I've been using it ever since. And I love knowing where my needles are. So I want to make one for a gift for somebody. And um, I might make more than one. So what I've got here to make mine with is probably the cheapest washcloths. Now, it seems like she used me washcloths here too, but these are real soft that she used. Those are real soft. Mine aren't like really soft because I got the ones you go over use. You, um, I just buy washcloths that you get over from the Walmart. And they're um, like you get 18 like for $3 or something. They're like so cheap. But that's what I buy though. And anyway, I took two washcloths and I folded. I folded one of them in half like this. And then the second one I folded. I cut the tags off here. I really should have some nicer washcloths than this but these will work and now I want a pocket see because I realized on this one that I would she does have pockets in here she made lace pockets but my needles won't quite stay in there I don't know it so I figure it needs to be a little deeper and so so then I took the second washcloth and I folded it up this way and then folded it up again so then this is the pocket right here there's going to be two pockets in this then I folded so then I fold I laid that one on top of here okay wait first I've sewed all the way around here so this this here washcloth is um a double because I folded it and then I stitched all the way around here then I took the second one and I stitched just along these edges where I um, folded it. Just those two edges. Then I laid it here. See, I've got one right here already sewed. That's why I'm saying it's what I did. There we go. And then I, and then I laid that on here. And then I sewed it right down the center. Down the center seam. I did that with my sewing machine. And so then that's what I ended up with. One page. Then you have a pocket page here, and then it opens up to two pages, and then it opens up again to a pocket page, and then a nice flap. Okay, now, this is the one that I already sewed. So it's already sewed together, and, um, and there I got a pocket, 
page page pocket page now see this pocket will be nice for like putting my stork scissors in there and uh or you know a small pair of scissors or uh the needle packs when you have packs so then the fun part begins now i'm gonna glue this all one now gluing it you know gluing it is the like a simple way but i think I, I think I might make one in there at my sewing machine one time and just sew the lace on. And so, but I'm going to be putting, I went in my sewing room and I just grabbed up some lace that I had that I thought might look okay on here. And so, and I want it to look, you know, kind of that, what they call the shabby, shabby chic kind of look. So what I'm going to do first here is I'm going to put on the back cover is I'm going to put this. Wait a minute. Let me see what I want to do here. Do I want to go around it? Maybe I do. Maybe I want to go in here and then around here back front and the back and then here yeah so I'm gonna cut that right there and get that it adhered get that adhered okay so let's put this back out of the way this is pretty lace it's real soft so actually, even though my washcloths are kind of old looking, um, if they're not old looking, they're brand new washcloths. Well, not brand new. I, I mean, they've never been washed. They've just been, they've just been there in my, um, in my area. So I'm going to glue this together, this particular one. Okay, and first I'm putting hang on a second. Just just sit just sit tight for a minute. I gotta go get my spatula. See if that helps me. I'm gonna go get it. I think it's right here. Is this right in this thing? No. That's good. Yeah, this will work. Maybe this will work. I gotta have something. I know some people use like, yeah, I'm gonna use that for fit my fingers. I'll use this instead of my fingers to get that glue. Okay, now I'm trying to make sure I have it centered here. Now this is the outside of the book, front and back. Oops. Can I get me another? Okay, this isn't exactly silicone, so the glue is going to stick to that. So I don't know if that's going to help. Um, Sammy Dog, you should go in there and lay with your father. Just go lay with your daddy. My goodness. Sammy doesn't think she can go to sleep unless I'm going to sleep with her. So she just stands there looking at me so forlorn. And I feel guilty because I'm not in the bed. Okay, now I'm going to put this one here, and there we go, there we go, and then I'm going to turn it over, flip this page, and I'm going to put this over the front, I mean over the inside of the front first page. Okay, over the inside of the first page. All right, now. Now, like I say, you can sew this if you're so inclined. If you are that energetic, I'm just gluing it at this time. But like I said, I think I will maybe um, actually 
do one that is sewn in. I could have cut this a little bit longer, but as you can see, I didn't. Okay. Now. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Now, I put a little bit too much glue there, but that's okay because I'll cover it up with something. Now, I also have, let me see. I also have, I decided I'd go with like a little bit of a, a green because I have this here ribbon this is ribbon and lace actually together and it's kind of like a like a light green it's like a mint green it's like one of my favorite colors i love mint green it's so pretty one of my bathrooms is all done in mint green okay i'm going to take this now and um Okay, I don't want to start it in the front. I think I want to start it in the back. And I'll start it like right here. Yeah. And I want to take this now. Now, of course, you can use any kind of lace. This is just stuff I have here because I'm, um, I'm a lace millionaire. I have a lot of lace. Yes, darling. Can I come over here? Um, yeah, you can come over here. The f camera's facing in the opposite direction. I don't want to be on TV. You're not going to be on TV. I thought you was asleep. You're not asleep. No, but I'm fixing it. It's my husband. He's got a, something to say. You have something to say? Yeah, I'm fixing it down. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought you were already laying down. How come you're walking like you're going to die there? No, the look, it's facing right here. Unless you stand on this table. Oh, okay. Good night, darling. I love you too. We don't have anything for tomorrow. We got day off. So I can turn my alarm off. Yeah, you don't need your alarm on. Okay. I love you more. Okay, so now I'm going to. My husband's so awesome. He's 72 years old. He'll be 73 in February. He's still just as spry as a fox. A little slower than normal, but... He's a little slower than he was when he was 22, but yeah. So I'm going to get this here glued on here. And he's going to go to bed. He's he's going to go sleep. He's been in there laying there reading. He's a readaholic. Boy, that man reads. He reads, reads, reads. Reads everything. Mostly he reads like novels. He likes books. He's a bookaholic. Which is good. It's good to be a bookaholic. Now... Okay, so there, I just turned that around the corner like that. And um, I'm glue this around. Today was one of our daughter's birthdays. She turned 45 years old. I cannot believe that I have a 45-year-old daughter. Well, I can't believe that I've got another daughter that's 46. And I can't believe that I've got two sons that are 48 and 49. And I can't believe I have another daughter that's 42. And I can't believe I have a son that is 32. Yeah. And that's it. That's the youngest. But you know what? By having all them children, by having all them children, I get a lot of grandchildren. So see, it's a method to my madness. My daughter says I was very fertile. Yeah, I, I was working on grain shipping way back then. <laughs> oh, Lord, goodness me. Now, this is really going to be very pretty. 
and this hot glue really does hold and as long as like here because I'm putting the glue underneath the um, the ribbon part the, the glue really it doesn't show it's under there as long as you're real careful you know that you put it to where it doesn't show now if you have a bunch of hot glue showing that looks pretty tacky you know you don't want to do that but um, so always when you put your glue in make sure you get it where it's going to be hidden sometimes I have you know made an error here and there and maybe I have some glue showing on something like this well if that happens I just kind of glue a flower on top of it or a button or something and it kind of hides the the glue din area it's amazing that I have any fingers left okay now I went and got this thing and then I'm not even using it I gotta get one like Stacy. She's got one, but it's silicone, so the glue doesn't stick to it. I have to. I think she said she got it at the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna have to go and see. Make a special trip to the Dollar Tree. Well, I need to go to Dollar Tree anyway and do some Christmas shopping because we're cheap like that. Okay, now. So now I went all the way around. I went all the way around with that lace there and so see that's already pretty just like this so I covered the wash rag up with this wider like four inch lace and then I went around with this kind of lace and so now what I want to do is I want to have um, now, when you put your needles in here, you know, it's, they're going to pin right in this stuff. They're just going to pin, they're going to just pin, pin right in, pin right in. You know what I should have got was some flat lace. I need some flat. My, my other room is in the other room. <laughs> Am I a dork or what? See, I got big lace, lots of lace. Okay, now this here is is double lace so it's a two inch lace and a one inch lace that I gathered together gathered it together and so I am going to oh yeah I'm just gonna put that on there <coughs> excuse me let me get a little drink here I gotta get a little drink out of my jar oh see I got one of these here big old bottles because it keeps things cold and then also it won't spill over here on my valuables I would not want it to spill on my valuables so right here in the center of that I'm gonna cut a piece of this lace and I'm using gathered lace or ruffled lace on this which is very pretty now, hopefully I can stay in frame where you can see what I am doing. I want you to see what I'm doing, but I don't want you to see my nightgown, my flannel negligee. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead down this edge with the hot glue and I like to turn the edge over here the very end of my lace so that it kind of gives it a more finished look there we go now see that's pretty get that right into the bend there right into the bend because I want the inside of the book to be just as pretty as the outside Okay, now I think I think what I want to do here, because I wanted that that there covered up, but I wonder if I should have what if I go like this? Oh yeah, I am. I am really gonna make this thing frilly. I'm gonna make this shabby chicky. Now let me tell you something I'm gonna be doing for those of you listening. For those of you that are so kind as to watch 
This is what I'm going to tell you what I'm going to be doing. I am noticing, I am noticing when I go on my channel thing, you know, where it gives me all kind of information and stuff. I am noticing that I am near about to 2,000 subscribers. Me, I am. I can't believe that. So, what I, I mean, that just, just about knocks my socks off. But my socks are on right now, so it didn't knock my socks off. But almost to 2,000 subscribers. And you know what? Since I've been doing this, I've only really been doing it for about a year. Now, I've got some videos there that are a little over a year old, but I would do them like here and there, like once every six months or something, I do a video. But then I got, you know, started to where I was doing them on a regular basis. And um, since I started doing on a regular basis, I can't hardly believe that I got almost 2,000 subscribers. That's a big number. I don't have $2,000. Not just kidding, just kidding. I got enough money. But um but I'm telling you, so anyhow anyhow, my plan is that when I get to two thousand, when it hits that that magic number of two thousand, I'm gonna do a live stream video. It's gonna be a live stream so that you all can come along with me for my celebration to the celebration station so that and I I am going to have some things that I'm going to be giving away throughout that evening video or e daytime video I'm not sure what time it's going to be um I you know I don't know when I'm going to have 2,000. Now, it might take a year before I get to 2,000. I don't know. But it's right now, it's like 19 and something, I think, or 18 and something. And so when I do get there, though, I'm going to do a live, a live video. And you know what? I think I'll have one of these as one of the prizes. But the prizes are going to be for those who are watching. So it's going to probably be kind of a long video because I know because some people I might start it. And if it's only an hour long, you know, some people might not be able to get in, you know, at that time. So it's probably going to be kind of a long video and I'm going to have more than one prize. Of course, throughout the video, I might say something like pick a number between one and a hundred and then I'll have that number wrote down somewhere. I'll write a number down, and I've seen other people that do it like that. It seems to work pretty good, and and then and then so then everybody that's watching at that moment will be able to get into the drawing by just putting a number up, and like I'll I'll give it I'll give it like the way I've seen it done. Who does it? Mary Altlier Altlier. She does it that way, and it seems to work that way for her really well. She'll say, okay, p pick a number between 1 and 100, you know, or something like that, and or between 600 and 700, you know, something like that. And then she will um, write the number down and hide it under her, whatever she's working on, and... Um, and then she looks at the number. Then she lets give so much time for people to write down a number. And then the winner is the winner. And I think that's an awesome idea. Fun, fun, fun. And so that's probably the way I'll do it too, that same way. But I will have those not just at the end they're going to be on throughout the video so that's going to be my 2000 subscriber fun and I'm, I'm i'm wondering if i'm having trouble i'm not looking at the screen too much here and i'm wondering if i'm giving you all trouble with focusing on this i'm going to go ahead and turn the auto focus off just to be sure 
that it's not giving you guys stress because I don't like stress. I avoid stress at all costs. I don't I don't like stress. Okay, so now I got to the end here. So this is in the middle now. Let me go here. Today was my daughter. Oh, I told you that today is my daughter's birthday. But I think I ate too much cake. I should not eat cake like I ate. But I hadn't had sweets in so long. <laughs> when I seen that cake. Oh, man. <sighs> it was terrible. I ate it. I ate a corner piece, which, of course, I shouldn't have done that either. But I did. Too late now. It's at... And I think that might be why I'm awake. Well, that that doesn't answer the question as to why I'm awake most every night. But, yeah, it was her birthday. She was born in 1972. And so then my other daughter, she found at the Goodwill store two plates that are Christmas plates, but they're collector's plates. And they were both from 1972, the same year my daughter was born. So she bought them for her sister, and her sister was so excited. Her sister, that was my daughter. She was so excited to have those plates. because And, and she's got two of them now, so there was two different ones. Plus, she's got two daughters. So she said she'll be able to save one of them she's going to display them now but um you're going to get them hangers that you can put on the wall and so she'll display them for now but then one will be for each daughter i think that's neat they're all sentimental like that my girls they're all sentimental so yep now i'm putting this on the inside of the second page too or whatever you call that, middle page. Did I get that? Oh, yeah, that's okay. That's okay. We're doing good. Now, and then my third daughter, um, I think a lot of you already know about my third daughter, Lori. Um, I got three daughters. I don't know why I say first, second, and third. They're just all equally daughters we're going to her house on the first on new year's day and we're having a famversary famversary the reason for that is because um the reason for our famversary is with this is our first famversary with lori because lori most of you know already was a baby that I gave away for adoption at birth and the last New Year's Eve is when we became reacquainted on the computer that on New Year's Day we went down and met her me and two of my daughters and her grandson. We went down to her house because she lived only like, only about 20 minutes away. All this time, she's lived 20 minutes away. And so we went and met her on New Year's Day. And it has been the most fabulous reunion ever. Just, it's been fabulous. I love her so much. I am so blessed that my queen, Prayers were answered all these years when I prayed that she would be loved and well taken care of and healthy. And yes, she was loved. She was, is loved, well taken care of and healthy. And I am just so blessed to know that. And my heart is just absolutely, uh, my heart just smiles. And so, we, yes, so we're going on down to her house. She lives in a, they live in the cutest little house right on a lake, on a little lake, a little country house on a lake. And 
Then they have, her husband has built a dock out on the lake so you can get out there and build. I mean, go fishing. And there's benches on the dock. It is so beautiful out there. And so we're going to meet down there. And, of course, we eat a lot. So everybody will bring food. And um, then everybody will bring food. And, and we'll do fishing. Fishing and food. And friendship and fun. And, and, and the children. Oh, my gosh, the children that will be there. Grandchildren, great-grandchildren, my great-grandchildren. Oh, God. It, so I have got that so to look forward for my New Year's Day. So my New Year's Day will start out so beautiful. Every year it will. Every year from now until forever. It will start out just beautiful. These washcloths are kind of rounded on the corners. So that kind of is makes my lace just go around pretty. And um, I'm getting that glued right on there. Now... And it's amazing how for all these years, I kind of kept my story just within myself. You know, my family knew, my children knew, and all of this stuff. My husband knew, everybody knew. And um, at the time, I called it my dark past. But now I don't look at it like that. I don't look at it like that anymore. I don't beat myself up, you know. Like my husband always says, don't beat yourself up. And, and so, but now that part of my past is my past. And it is now, it's, it's just fine. It's just fine. And so, I don't know if it was to, if I was to have to do it again, if I would do things the same way, I don't think so knowing what I know now but at the time I did what I thought was best all right um I won't bore you anymore with that story but to me that story is not boring because it has such a happy ending such a happy 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 ending I mean it has an end yet but the bad part of it has ended. The lonely part has ended. So, it's wonderful. So, this is going on nice. This is going to be very fluffy. Very fluffy. Now, um... I know this is taking a while. I'm sorry it's taking a while. But I guess I should learn how to fast forward. And I could just fast forward through things like this. Some people do that. They just get to a part like this. And then they just fast forward. Oh, jeez. Oh, crime and nitty. And, um... But I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about fast forwarding or editing or any of that stuff. So I don't get that part. That part, maybe I'll learn that stuff in my next life. Maybe I will. We don't know. We just don't know. Okay, now. We're still going around. There's going to be more than this on. I, I, this is the last of the lace, so I think once I get around here, then this is the last of this boring part. Now, for you that are watching my doll videos, um, just so you know, I understand that I am like, um, I'm so eclectic. I just, I, you know, I... I'm so, I'm going to get back to the dolls. I, in fact, see, I finished three dolls, but then I go back and forth and do things like this. I've been getting, finishing up some Christmas gifts that I've made 
and I made my Christmas cards. I'm getting Christmas cards sent out. And 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 um so I've made all my Christmas cards, which actually I they're recycled Christmas cards. There's I got a video on my recycling Christmas cards too. And so I recycle a few, then I get them addressed in mail. Then I recycle a few more. I gotta, I gotta make a few more tomorrow morning. I think I'm still needing like maybe five or six more. But then I get a card from somebody else that I didn't send one to, and I said, "Well, I gotta send one to them too." And so, and I sent my husband today. He went to the post office and got my international stamps because there's some international friends that I want to send a card to so and you can get international stamp for I think they're $1.15 for a stamp for international which I think that's not bad and so I had him pick me up I think he got 10 or 12 whatever it's on a page and um so I can send that many international out so I'm having fun with that, uh, putting, sending Christmas cards to dear people that I've met and most of them met right here on my YouTubes and just, my, I have learned how this world is such a wonderful place. Now, if all you do is read the news, read the newspaper, listen to the news, you'd think what in the world is happening to this world. But then if you watch videos if you watch videos and see people from all over the world and how wonderful they are how kind people are there's more kind people than there are unkind people there really is and i have learned that that's one thing about doing my videos is that i have learned that there are so many good people in the world and those good people really really they just warm your heart just they just warm your heart and um and and really make you relook at our world and see we don't get happy i mean we get unhappy sometimes with world leaders and stuff but you know what? If you count all the world leaders, you know what a percentage that is of people? Not big, not a big percent. The rest of us is all just real people. Real people. Okay, I'm going to put this piece right in here. I'm going to cut that one. It'll be about that long. Okay. This will be pretty, I think put that right there now now this one's going to go in right in there so now fold that little bit over the edge just fold it a little bit and put that in there push that down okay yeah i'm gonna get one of those like Stacy has, that's silicone. Because if it's silicone, then it won't. This one's just plastic. And. But it, it's working. It, it's doing okay. It'll work till I get a silicone one. Which I'll probably find a silicone one at the Dollar Tree. Which we might have, puppy. Well, I done told him we're not going to do anything tomorrow, but. I might have him take me to the Dollar Tree because there is a couple things I want to look for. I hear about other crafters getting such nice stuff from the Dollar Tree. And so, okay, now let's look at this. Where are we at here? Now, this is the front, correct? Or is that the back? Yeah, this is a, yes, that's the front because there's the pocket. So now here's what the pages look so far. Just with that lace. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so. And I got glue stuck to my fingers. Now. 
Now what I want to do is I want to just put a little bit more pizzazz on the front. Nope. Let's see. If I had a little bitty doily. Okay, I got some doilies here, but I don't think I have any little bitty ones. Let me see. I love my Ziploc bags. I got, I got a lot of things sorted just in Ziploc bags. And boy, since I started doing that, um, yeah, I don't think I have anything little. This one is one that I cut apart already once before. That won't work. And this one, that's pretty big too. Oh, I wish I had one just a little bit smaller. Oh, I know what I got. I have. I know what I have. I know what I have. Oh, Lisa, where's my other bag? I brought another bag, I think, out from the cave. I thought, oh, I did. Here, here it is. Here it is. Oh no, this is not it either. This is just lace. These are lace pieces, but not my angel wings. I have, let's see. Yeah, one day I'm gonna get so much, oh, oh here. One day I'm gonna get so much like the professionals and I'm gonna have everything done professionally. I'll be so professional, but that may not be to my next life. Okay, let's see. Oh, here. These are, oh, oh, wow. Wait a minute. Now, let's see. You don't need a red hat. We're not going to do a red hat lady one. That would be cool, though, a red hat lady. These are like um, butterfly embroidered butterfly embroidered if you ever go to um cheap trims that's what it's called cheap c-h-e-e-p trims cheap trims they sell i mean you gotta buy pretty big lots of it but um they sell a lot of really inexpensive things and that's where i got these but here's a butterfly Oh my word. Look at that. What if I just put a butterfly? Now I'm not sure exactly. But yeah, I used to when I had my shop, I um bought a lot of my things because I'd buy real large bulk items, but you don't you do not have to have like a tax ID number or anything from there. You can just buy and get it at their at their price at a wholesale price so that's called cheap trims cheaptrims.com okay now now where did okay now I got these let me see these, these are really pretty now these flowers I got from um and these are pretty. These I got from Ally Express. And those are pretty. Now let's see. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Maybe if I put the butterfly down in the corner. And then a flower. And then I pull these magnolia flowers. Their magnolia brand, um, magnolia flowers here. Now let me see how these work. Let's see, they're in a bundle of six. Okay, they're not exactly a mint green. These ones are magnolia too, they're green. These were sent to me in a happy mail, and I just love them. 
I had some red ones too, but I already used them on some Christmas. Now this one isn't, let's see. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. I got an idea. I got an idea. I got an idea. I have this ribbon. Now this is a mint green ribbon, which is the same color exactly. Now what if, what if I were to take a strand of that ribbon and see, that's what I think I'll, I'll do is I'll take a bit of that ribbon and then I have, oh, I have it here, this ball of, of embroidery thread, not embroidery thread, crochet cotton, they call this crochet cotton. Now I'm going to take just a bit of that now and I'm going to take this and let's see um, I'm going to take this and just put Okay, I'm getting it so that my crochet cotton is the same length as me. Okay. Now, if I take this and just kind of wrap it around my hand like this. So there's thread. Threads in there. And the ribbon. Okay, this may not work. I don't know. I'm just trying. And I'm going to take this piece of ribbon here. And I'm going to just tie it in a knot around the center. I'm just going to tie it in the knot in the center. And the ribbon is the ribbon and the um, strings are just kind of haphazardly fluffed out okay so now if that goes right there and if I put a flower in the middle like this and then the butterfly oh, right there okay then I don't think I need no I don't think I need these flowers and then I have these other, now these are like sitting butterflies. Isn't that cute? These are neat because you can use them for angel wings too. If you're making an angel, you can use them for angel wings. So, hmm. okay, I'm not sure about these yet. I'm just not sure. Do I want um, like two flowers? No. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm sure of this. I want that right in the middle. So I'm sure of this. So that's going to go there. And then I'm sure that I'm going to put this flower right here in the middle there. There we go. Now, now I wonder if, see, these are where I'm not sure. I do like, I do like the butterfly. What if I stuff them just down underneath here? Almost looks like angel wings. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. I do like that. So I'm going to put some glue. Underneath there. Like this. 
they almost look like once I do that, it almost looks like little frilly leaves behind my flower. And I think I like that look. See there? That's pretty. Oh, and then, oh, where do I have my needles? Okay, now I have needles here somewhere. Just a minute. Let me see. Oh, right here. Okay. Whoops, I turned on. I got pins. See, I make these and then I get a bunch of them and I, once I get them used up, oh, there's a needle that belongs in my needle book. See, these are, um, like I make these out of hat pins or I make them out of, um, they're not actually, they're floral pins. If you go into the florist department at Joann's or someplace like that, then they sell these, these pins like these, these long pins that they usually use in in flower arrangements. But now what's pretty is to take like a pin or two and just have it poking out just a little bit. And look, I must have been on a green kick when I made these because maybe I like them over here. That's pretty, but I don't want them to come out here where they're going to poke somebody. And that one is sticking out there. So, um, let me see. This one and this one, do I want them to match? And them two are almost exactly the same, so I wouldn't... I'd rather have them a little bit different. Yeah, maybe this one still. No, I don't. That one just doesn't look right. How about this one? Okay. Okay. So if I put that in those two in just like that. Now, that's sticking out there. I don't want it. So what I think I'll do, let me see. I want to make sure it's in there where it's not going to poke somebody. There we go. It's poking out there. And then this, let me see where it's poking. Now that will poke out there. Okay, so now I have, let me see, just a minute, I got to reach again. Oh, 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 okay, and here I have some little bitty, little bitty foam balls, it says right on the box. Wait a minute, I wiped the dust off. Okay, now in here, these are little bitty foam balls, and I bought them just for this, another one of my, um, aren't those cute? They're little foam balls, but I bought these for use for this very, very, very exact thing, because I didn't know what else I can use. Ooh, those are pretty. Those are pretty to play with. I'm going to figure out something else to do with them, too. Okay, now, yep. Now, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take those two foam balls. And I am going to put them on the ends of these needles. Where they're poking through. So that they will not poke the person I'm giving it to. So... There we go. See, now that's on the end of that needle. And then the end of this needle is, where is it? Okay, there it is. I'm just gonna put a little glue right on the tip of that needle. 
and then put the little foam ball, poke it on there. There you go. That looks kind of cute. So, there. I put the little, the needles are in. The little foam balls are on the end of the needle. So those needles won't poke somebody. And they're glued on there, so they're going to stay. Now this one piece of string here is bothering me because it's a little too much. So I'm just going to snip it off because it's just a little bit long. That one too. Okay. Now, I think, I think I like this. Now where did that other little butterfly go? Right there. You know what? I might like that right there. Is to have that little butterfly right there. I do think so. Let's see. Yep. That's where I want it. And so I'll put a little glue here and a little glue here. And and that will glue right down there. That's pretty. I like it a lot. See, I like to plan things as I go. If you if you plan things ahead of time, I don't think they always work. But now that's pretty. Now this is a needle book. Now, wait a minute. I think I might have to... I may have to have, yeah, I do. I have to have a flower right here. Okay. And then here, I may have to have a flower right here. Yeah. And then... I may have to have, oops, 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 don't drop it in the floor, Elizabeth Murray. I may have to have a flower right here. Okay. Now. Now, would that be something that you would like to have as a gift? I think so. I think if somebody gave me this, but what I'll do is I will put like, I'll put like a pack of needles in here and maybe I'll buy a pair of those, those little bitty, what they call stork scissors. Maybe I'll put that in there, a pack of needles. You could put a spool of thread, like on here, you'll just put on these page, you'll just put the needles, just you don't just put your needles on there like this. And so your needles are always right there where you need them. Oh, I think it, I think it turned out really nice. I think it turned out really nice. You know, I might even put, maybe I want to put just a pin on one of these pages. Just for, just for good looks. That one's too big. Oh, how about this one? Put that right there. Yeah, I think I will. And then I need another one of those little green foam balls. And then I will put, I wonder if I would rather just have that like this. No, no. Somehow it'll work somewhere, but not somewhere else. Okay, now. And so I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the end of this needle. And then, oh no, where'd my ball go? Oh, there it is. And then pull that foam ball right there. And that's glued on the end. 
there we go and then I'm gonna put a little bit of glue underneath the pin underneath the beads right there and that'll hold that on so it doesn't go slip slide slip slide in the way there you go now you know what I might do true here is put a little tiny bit of glue underneath those there I like it and I think Myra wait a minute let me make sure I have the right name I'm just so terrible with names but I wrote it in here so yep Myra Wolf Rolf R-O-L-F-E she's the one that sent this one to me and um and and so it's with her inspiration with her inspiration with this one that I came up with this one. And so I and I I very rarely come up with anything on my own. Usually everything is inspired by somebody else. And I'll take their idea and I'll go with it and make something similar for myself. And this is going to be given as a gift. And this is called a needle book where you keep your needles and when you need to make just a quick um, mend on something then you can have this needle book laying on your coffee table or laying on your chest drawers or somewhere and it'll look very pretty and you'll know right where your needles are a little pair of scissors in here your needles in here maybe maybe a couple of small spools of thread they will go in there or if you don't want to do that you could just wrap threads on on a like a one of the embroidery floss spools you can get and so that would work too so yes I'm so glad that you all stuck through it and don't forget don't forget to be watching for my live stream that will um that will be when I reach 2,000 subscribers which is not far off I'm sure I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't think that way. But anyway, okay. Now I'm going to go through my, my wisdom cards. I've been doing those. My, uh, I've been doing some positive affirmations after every video. And so these are the ones I have today. It says, I can heal myself on all levels. Healing me means to make whole and to accept all parts of myself. Not just the parts I like, but all of me. I used to think my feet were too big. But now, I just know I have a good understanding. All right. I accept all my all parts of myself. I am pure spirit. I am aware that I am pure consciousness. I am not lonely or lost or abandoned. I am one with all of my life. And the third one says, I am motivated by love. I am. I really am. Resentment, criticism, guilt, and fear come from blaming others and not taking responsibility for my own experiences. That's a good one, too. So those are our three positive affirmations for today and I want to thank you all for stopping by I see it's been over an hour and if you're still here then God bless you for sure but I think our needle book turned out nice hopefully you all will try one of that two washcloths and just a bit of lace and um, I want to ask God to watch over you every step you take every move you make and I will see you on the next video God bless <music>